Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, a very kind of iconic beer, really. Um, I've never had it before. I, don't, I may have had it once, years ago, I can't remember. Um, it's from Charlie Wells, and it's their beer brewed with bananas. Banana bread beer, coming in at 5.2% ABV. Uh, this brewery is out of Bedford. Uh, Havelock Street, Bedford, Charles Wells Brewery. Um, so yeah, brew with bananas. Interesting beer. It's been going a long time. This brewery um, since where is it? Come on to that in a minute. Eighteen seventy-six. A long time. There's their bottle cap. Let's get this out then. Quite a bit of smoke. Purchased this in Asda a few weeks back. Wow, so it's quite a shade darker than I was expecting it to be. Uh, so slight more malt. I'm getting aromas of the banana from here. I haven't even gone near the beer yet. Just got half a finger. Of just off white head, decent carbonation. Just about see it at the top there. Yeah, so it's very clear. It's getting aroma. It just smells, it reminds me of um, like a Nesquik banana shake. Banana milkshake you used to get. You used to get the powder and put it in the milk got that kind of sweetness as well it's banana all the way if you shut your eyes and and get an aroma of this beer you'd think there's a banana under your nose let's give it a try it's not much else in the aroma cheers Heavy banana. There's a slight. I'll oh, just have one more go. There's a slight spiciness on the back end. Um, maybe some white pepper or something like that. It's okay. If you don't like bananas, you won't like it. Simple as that. It's one of them beers that it says it on the front, and that's what you're getting. There's a slight bit of back end as well, mixed in after that spiciness. But at the front end, it's bananas. Not particularly sweet. It's a slight sweet front end. Bananas, spice, bitterness at the back. It's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure I've not had this before, but certainly not had it checked it into untapped, I don't think. And obviously the first time I'm reviewing it here. The only downside, or certainly one downside is it's clear glass. I don't like clear glass. Let's get the rest of this in. It's not bottle conditioned. It's a filtered beer. So it's a bit of a, a finger ahead. Just slightly off white. Tinged orangey. Sort of vanilla colour head. Yeah. Absolute clear glass. I'm not a lover of it at all. Banana and spice. That's about it. Um, as for a rating, it's one of them, another kind of novelty kind of beer for me. Um, it's okay. 
not it's not too bad it's not horrible um but and I'll leave it at that really it's it's okay it's nothing special outstanding or anything like that um I'll give that I'll give that a 6 there's bags of flavor don't get me wrong um that's a 6 out of 10 from me um it would be in the, in the low 80s out of the 100 something like that um it's just trying to put my finger on it. it a beer if you was on a um, on a budget this would be fantastic a few of these you can get like four, three bottles for a fiver in Asda um, which is what I've been starting to do for the weekend reviews it's not it's not uh, what I generally go for, to be honest. But it's okay. Cheers for watching. If you've had it before, let us know down below. It'd be great to find out your thoughts on this on this uh, novelty beer. Please subscribe and cheers.